I'm Steve for This Look With Cars and today I want to make some improvements to the Innocenti Mini Miner Mark II. In my opinion, one of the best improvements you can do to a classic Mini is put on electronic ignition. That's because the distributor is right behind the grill and it can easily get water in it fouling your points. Today I'm going to start by installing a Pertronics electronic ignition into the Mini Miner. And then I have a few other changes that I think will be a good upgrade for this car. First thing I need to do is get this grill off. Luckily this one has the quick to remove knobs that just let the grill come right off. And here's the distributor and the distributor cap. You can see how if you're driving this car in the rain with all the water coming in directly through here that it could be a problem with getting water into your distributor. They do make rubber boots that can go over everything and cover it and keep the water out. But those rubber boots make it a real pain to service the car. So I prefer to just put electronic ignition on it. This is a pretty easy conversion to do. You don't have to find top dead center. You just remove your wire that goes from the coil down to the distributor. And then you take the points out. The equipment for the Pertronics is keyed so that you can just stick it on there, not having to set up the distributor. And your timing should be about where it was before. It's always a good idea to check it again afterwards. I will be taking out the points, which are right here, as well as the condenser. Here's the points and the condenser. The Pertronics comes with its own grommet for this little bulkhead connector that takes the power from outside the distributor to inside. So all of this will be replaced. First, we need to install the adapter plate. It did come with a new countersunk screw for that. This is the little pickup device, and this is going to tell the coil when to fire. So this can be bolted on next. Now we take the little bulkhead connector Slip that in. Make sure that we have enough slack in here that the wires are not going to be rubbing on anything. Now we can slide the collar on. This collar is keyed. And if you've ever wondered what this little piece that comes with the Pertronics is, but this is a little feeler gauge. So you can stick that through, make sure that there is enough clearance. Depending on your distributor, sometimes these are slightly adjustable, and that lets you get the correct distance between these two parts. The only thing left to do now is to cut these wires so that they are the proper length to come up to the coil. Red goes to the positive side of the coil, Black goes to the negative side. The next change I'm going to make is putting in a flamethrower coil. So I will be replacing the Lucas Sport coil, which should work with the Pertronics with a brand new flamethrower just to make the car a little more reliable because who knows how old this coil here is. This is an easy swap. Just swap the wire straight over from this coil to this one and put the flamethrower coil in the clamp. This coil uses a screw in type HT lead and I was going to replace the HT leads anyways. So I will be replacing it with a type that works with the Pertronics coil. Now that I have the new coil here, you can see what the problem is. You can't put a screw-in type HT lead onto a push-on coil. 
I'm going to be converting to all push on leads. These are push on on both sides, which means I also need to change the distributor cap to a different type. The HT leads come out of the top of this cap instead of out of the side. I'm going to take this cap off, leaving all the wires in place, and these are labeled one, two, and three, so that I can get them back in the same order. When I put the new wires on here, you can put the cap on and get them connected to the correct place. There we go. Now the electronic conversion is completed. I can just put the rest of the car back together, start it up, make sure it still works. Now I have my timing light. I'm going to check the timing real quick, make sure that it hasn't changed. And if I need to adjust it, get it adjusted perfectly right in the correct spot. That's it for today with the Innocenti Mini Miner Mark II. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.